Hey guys, it's episode one of Snap Soap. My name's Michelle. I grew up in a small town in Texas. I'll call it Abbott's Town. Remember the serial podcast about the guy who was convicted of killing his ex-girlfriend in 1999? It reminded me of something that happened at the same time in my hometown. I'm going to change names because it's serious stuff. Really serious. But unlike Serial, no one ever got convicted. I won't tell you who I am because these guys are still out there. Why am I talking about this? God. No, honey, can we stop for a second? Okay. I'm back. I thought the world was one way. Then I grew up, started asking questions, and realized this world was a lie. So maybe you can help me put the pieces together and answer questions that no one from Sai, I mean, Abbott's town, will help me answer. Like, how can someone be so evil as to kill another human being? Growing up, I knew a foster kid named Julia. She was three years older than me. No one would adopt her. It was never clear why. She went through 22 foster families in 13 years. That was almost half of Abbott's town. Not counting all of the Abbott's, and maybe the Sloan's too. But you gotta think a lot of her, because even though she didn't have a support system, she got a scholarship to... Abbott College. It's a tiny Texas college, but they somehow have the best science department in the country. More on that later. Julia gave an interview in 2002. She talked about the 1999 homecoming game against El Paso. It was Julia's first football game, or church as we say in Texas. She said that when the band started Strike Up the Band at halftime, she thought she'd see her roommate Avelyn bring the cheer squad onto the field. Avelyn told Julia to watch and tell her afterwards if she did okay. But Julia didn't see her. Which was weird. It wasn't like Avelyn to miss a spotlight. Julia thought that maybe Avelyn was nervous about being on the field because a storm was brewing overhead. She probably didn't want pictures of herself with wet hair although her family would have just bought them all and burned them if that's what Avelyn wanted. But this was all Avelyn talked about for weeks. And Avelyn was actually kind of nice to Julia, at least in the room. Her friend was missing. Julia saw Theo, Avelyn's boyfriend, walking past the drink stand around the corner to the locker room. Julia leapt from the stands, turned the corner out of sight, and caught up to Theo. He's normally a friendly guy, but that night, Julia said Theo was absolutely fuming. Where's Avelyn? Julia asked. Theo said, if I never see her again, I would be happy. With that, he stormed off to the locker rooms. Wow. What would the Tom and Giselle of Abbott College be arguing about? Where was Avelyn? <laughs>